he moved back to the VA late December of 2016. Um, and that's kind of where we put him into palliative care and where the last, last few weeks were spent. And then right after he passed, um, that's when the brain, his brain was sent over to the Legacy Foundation for study. They found that he had CTE. Uh, I forget the exact degree, but I know it was an advanced case, uh, a severe case. Um, it, I guess the di or we found out just over a year ago now. Um, and yeah, that was, I don't know if it was closure, but it was something tangible at least, a tangible diagnosis that we hadn't had in the previous three and a half years. I think hearing that it was the chronic traumatic encephalopathy was just having validation for the symptoms and the struggles that Kevin was experiencing, knowing that it wasn't just a unique case. Like his case is unique and it is um, different than a lot of others, but there are definitely others that are experiencing it on a wide variety of different levels, but just knowing that there was a reason you know it wasn't all just phenomena right like it was it happened because of this it happened because of these events prior in his life and i think that was the biggest thing for us personally is knowing why it happened and then we shifted from how can we help other people who are going through the same thing this video was produced by brainline thanks to generous support from the infinite hero foundation